Okay. I call to order the special meeting of the mayor and board of trustees of the village of Burr Ridge for March 30, 2020. Let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America, America to, the republic, to the republic for which, which it stands, 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 one nation, one nation under, God, under God, 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 indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice, and justice for all. That was, that was something, guys and ladies. Thank you. Okay, um, Madam Clerk, uh, please take a roll and note who is in the boardroom and who is uh, appearing telephonically pursuant to uh, the new rules uh, during this emergency. Can they please say that they are doing it telephonically? Sure. Yes. Is that, is that what you want us to do? Yes, yes. please. Okay, Trustee Francis. Here, participating telephonically. Trustee Schiaffo. Here, participating telephonically. Trustee Pavezo. Here, participating telephonically. Trustee Snyder. Here, participating telephonically. Trustee Natal. Here, participating telephonically. Trustee Model. Present by phone. Mayor Grasso. Present in the boardroom. Okay, um, we have no presentations and we do not have any public hearings for tonight. <clears throat> I'll get to the consent agenda. All items listed with an asterisk are considered teen by the village board and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a board member or citizen so request in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda, discussed by the board, opened for public comment, and voted upon during this meeting. I am removing item 7A, which is the purpose really for tonight's meeting and what was uh, my error in having it designated on the consent agenda. Does anyone else want anything else removed from the consent agenda? Mayor, this is Trustee Model. Will you please remove A and B? Uh, the first two items, the minutes. I'd like to discuss the minutes, please. A and B, thank you. Okay. Anybody else? No. All right. So I will Has now. Has there been Mr. anything uh, submitted by the public uh, requesting an item to be removed, be removed? No. Doug informed me before the meeting that he had not received any such emails. Okay. Great. All right, I will uh, now uh, read the consent agenda. <clears throat> uh, six ordinances A, approval of an ordinance amending section XF of the Burr Ridge zoning ordinance to add accessory building to a principal building as a special use, as well as establish necessary bulk size setback and other such regulations for accessory buildings in the <clears throat> G1, General Industrial District Z02 2020 Text Amendment Accessory Building. B, approval of an ordinance granting special use for an accessory building to a principal building in the GI General Industrial District Z02 2020 166 Shore Drive, Smith. C, approval of an ordinance amending Chapter 60, Section 60.7. Point seven of the Burr Ridge Municipal Code regarding the municipal hotel and motel room tax. D, approval of an ordinance amending Article 2 entitled Sale or Distribution of Tobacco Products to Minors of Chapter 41 entitled Offenses of the Burr Ridge Village Code. 8A, approval of uh, Mayor Grasso's recommendation to appoint Enza Perella as an alternate to the plan commission to complete a term expiring on July 23, 2021. B, approval of Mayor Grasso's recommendation to appoint Rob Malhatra to the Stormwater Committee for term expiring on May 1, 2021. 
and C, approval of vendor list dated March 23, 2020 in the amount of $74,317.35 for all funds plus $196,890.61 for payroll for the period ending March 7, 2020 for a grand total of $271,207.96, which includes no special expenditures. Can I have a motion to approve the following items on the consent agenda? 6A, B, C, and D, and 8A, B, and C. So moved. Second. Second. Okay, who may, who moved? Joe Snyder. Okay, who is the second? I need a tell. Thank you. Madam Clerk, please take, uh, please do a roll call. Trustee Snyder. Yes. Trustee Mattal. Yes. Trustee Model. Yes. Trustee Francis. Yes. Trustee Schiappa. Yes. Trustee Paveza. Yes. Six zero. Six zero, the motion passes. That takes us to item five minutes A, approval of regular board meeting of March 9, 2020. First, can I get a motion to approve the minutes of the regular board meeting of March 9, 2020. So moved. Second. A, okay, now discussion, trustee model. Yeah, I had um, two items for uh, correction and one for clarification. The first item for clarification was under um, this update regarding local preparedness for coronavirus. It's on page 11400. At least that's the page number that's at the bottom that I'm looking at. It talks about Chief Madden giving his update um, and, and Chief Madden, what the minutes say is that, I'm quoting the minutes, Chief Madden stated there have been 11 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Illinois. He will be notified if there is a confirmed case in Burr Ridge. So I was curious about that because in, in recent updates from, from you, Mayor Grasso, you claim we don't know if there's a confirmed case. So I was just looking for a clarification on that point. And, and if you want me to continue on the other points or, or wait, I'll, I'll wait for your direction. Well, um, I don't know that that's a clarification. Why don't we get, um, why don't we hear your other points and at least get the minutes approved and then we can answer any questions you have about our ability to get information of confirmed cases. Okay, perfect. Um, the other uh, request for a correction that I wanted uh, was on the minutes was um, on the same page where um, it talks about um, under the approval of recommendation to work contract for auditing services. Uh, there's one, two, three, four paragraphs. And uh, the fifth paragraph, you know, somewhere in there, I feel that it should note, it does not note that Doug mentioned in the last meeting that a, that a business, a restaurant is being audited, audited by the Illinois Department of Revenue. Doug mentioned that and that's not in the minutes. I think it should be in the minutes. It's, a, it's kind of an important point. So that's my second issue. Would you like me to carry on with the third and final issue? Sure, thank you. Thank you. The last issue uh, is on the next page, page 11403, or at least that's at what's at the bottom of the page. And it's the um, third paragraph from the bottom. <clears throat> it says, Mayor Grasso thanked Trustee Snyder for suggesting the idea for leasing village vehicles. And Mayor, I distinctly remember you said, please let the record show that both Trustee Snyder and Trustee Model brought the idea forward. And I recalled you specifically stating that in the last meeting, and that's not in the minutes. Okay. Um, are, you, are you making a motion now to amend the minutes per your comments? Uh, yes, I would make that motion to make those two corrections to the minutes uh, per my comments. Does anybody, um, do we have a second? Second. I'm sorry? Sec second, 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 yeah. Anita Mito. Uh, Anita seconded, okay. Any discussion? Roll call? Is this on the corrections? Yeah, it's on the, um, it's, it's an amended motion. 
Um, yeah, it would be a motion to, uh, you're voting on the uh, minutes as amended uh, according to um, uh, the motion and the second. It would be, now you're voting, a vote yes means you're going to approve these minutes with those changes. And the two changes are that, um, <clears throat> the two changes are substantive to the uh, minutes would be uh, that Doug uh, indicated there was a restaurant being audited in the village uh, at the March um, 9th meeting, and also that uh, I indicated that I was thanking uh, not only Trustee Snyder, but also Trustee Model for bringing up leasing in the village. As I don't Can I make a comment know. there? Yes, you can. I don't remember trustee model ever making the recommendation for leasing of the police officers, uh, police cars. Uh, so I don't know if anyone else remembers that. I was going to, I would, uh, this is Al. I was going to vote present because I don't remember it either. I don't okay. remember it. This is trustee Franzis. Oh, I did point it out, and this is Trustee Model, and Mayor Grasso made quite, a, quite a, a deal out of saying that he wanted the record to show that the idea was brought forward by both trustees. You can watch the video of it. We can delay this vote until you all have a chance to watch the video, if that would be better for you. No, that's, not the, that's not my issue. My issue was, I, I recall the issue being brought up at the meeting, and I recall what you said and what Gary said, what the mayor said. However, I don't recall you making a recommendation that we investigate leasing opportunities for the village. Oh, that was at prior meetings, uh, Trustee Francis, that I made those suggestions. I made them to both Doug Pollack and I made them as well to Steve Stricker before he retired. And I mentioned that in the last meeting. And again, Mayor Grasso made a big deal about putting that in the record. And, and this, these are the minutes, the record of the meeting. The mayor asked for it to be included. I would like it to be included per the record of the meeting. Anybody else, Doug? I think I could clarify that point. Um, my recollection, but I'm sorry, I think I could clarify that point. My recollection is that uh, what trustee model is referring to happened at the budget workshop on March 13th. And I do recall, and, and I have draft minutes. We haven't finalized those minutes, but I have prepared draft minutes and it did include um, the statements in that discussion regarding credit for the leasing program uh, but again that was uh, at the March 13th workshop budget workshop over at the police station uh, not at the March 9th uh, board mm -hmm. meeting. Um, my my memory would be that um, I did I did rather facetiously make a remark <clears throat> at the um, budget workshop meeting on March 13th about uh, if if, if Trustee Model wanted credit. Um, I, I wasn't opposed to giving him credit. I didn't remember him ever bringing it up, but of course, um, I haven't. I've only been mayor again since May. Um, so, Zach, I, I think that what you're referring to is actually at the workshop. So, if you want to drop at least that correction out uh, out of your motion, um, I think that would be more accurate uh, when we, when and if we get to the minutes for the March 13 budget workshop. All right, well, in the interest of moving things along, if, if Trustee Matal will agree to amend her second, I will drop that, that correction uh, and just leave the one correction about the I do our uh, place of eating tax. You know what, uh, uh, Trustee Model? I just realized I was absent at the March 9th meeting. So I should not even be voting on this, to be honest. Okay, and I don't. Um, Are you uh, withdrawing your okay. second? Yes, because I don't think if I was absent, then I don't think I uh, even get to vote on that. Okay. Well, you can make a second on the on the minute. You don't have to vote for it, but you can make a second, I believe. Um, Attorney Durkin, what do you think? Yes, you can make a second, and um, in fact, you can even vote on it, although you have you know, no recollection to vote on what the meetings say. This You're just approving the clerk's um, recitation of what took place at that meeting. Okay, so then I will second it. First of all. Okay, so. and then the, the other thing I don't recall um, on March 9th, uh, any mention of any particular restaurant or a restaurant being audited in the village. So 
I don't have that recollection, but uh, many things have happened in the last few weeks. So does anybody have that recollection? Doug, do you recall? I recall uh, being asked about uh, restaurant uh, being audited. If, if I said that I knew that a restaurant was being audited, I misspoke because I don't have that knowledge. What I do know is that several years ago, there was a concern with a restaurant that we uh, provided information to the Department of Revenue. Uh, to our knowledge, they did not. We don't know if they audited nor would we necessarily know. Uh, that is not something we as staff would know to begin with. So I apologize if I misspoke and stated it that way. Uh, I was speaking incorrectly because I don't have that. Does any trustee but, uh, have, have any I, I did say that, that it was being audited, and you said you wouldn't reveal the name of it, and I asked which one it was, and you said you wouldn't reveal the name. I, I think we should watch the video if we can't if we can't agree to this point. Well, well then, then Zach, maybe maybe you should withdraw your motion, and then uh, you know, and then you know, subject to watching the video, if you wish to do that, and point it out. Uh, and then we can take it up. At I don't the next think we meeting. should approve incorrect minutes, Mayor. I think we should either table the whole thing and watch the video and get that clarified, or or, or we should approve it with the change that I've I put in there. Well, that would be subject to whether or not you have the votes to have it tabled. Does anybody want to make a motion to table approval of the regular board minutes of March 9, 2020? I don't hear such a motion. Uh, this is Jen. Al. Uh, I uh, I will not make a motion, and I'm also one like Doug. I don't remember talking about a specific uh, uh, restaurant or something that is under audit. Okay, so here's my suggestion. Um, it, it appears that there is not um, a majority vote to. Um, to uh, to approve uh, trustee models uh, amended motion can i get a motion to approve the regular board uh, meeting minutes of march 9 2020 as written so moved I think you're going to need to uh, you're going to need to vote on the uh, motion to amend first the amended and then you can bring up a motion uh, to approve the original if that fails yeah you're, you're right so you need Call to vote question, please thank you Someone have a question? No, call the question, please. Yeah, okay, call the question. Okay, so we're going to vote now on uh, Trustee Model's motion. Uh, roll call, please. Trustee Model? Yes. Trustee Mattal? I will uh, refrain from voting because I was not present there. Trustee Snyder? No. Trustee Paveza? No. Trustee Schiappa? No. Trustee Francis? No. Uh, four, four, one. One, four. It's, uh, okay. But the motion doesn't pass. Now, do you have the uh, original motion to approve the minutes as submitted? You need a, I don't know if you took a motion in a second on that. I believe you did. So. Yeah, I, I don't think I should be able to do that. I shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. I trust, Trustee Schiappa, I motion to, for, to move. The, the original minutes as as posted in our packet. I need a second. Okay, uh, roll call, please. Trustee Schiappa? Yes. Trustee Mittal? I'll refrain from voting on this because I wasn't present at the meeting. I'll second it if you need a second. This is Al. It's been seconded. It's been seconded, okay. Al. Trustee Model? No. Trustee Snyder? Yes. Trustee Paveza? Yes. Trustee Francis? Yes. 4 1. 4 1, the motion passes. Okay. Uh, next, that takes us to 5B uh, receive and file water committee meeting of February 24, 2020, and March 9, 2020. First, can I get a motion? to approve receipt and filing of the water committee minutes of the meetings of February 24 and March 9, 2020. So moved. Second. Trustee Schiappa, second, okay. Sorry. 
sorry. Okay, I have a mo I, I have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion, trustee model? Yeah, I was curious if we could get a little more information about these minutes. I mean, I'm reviewing them and it looks like our water fund has got some some real problems going on and we just raised the rate significantly. We were told it was going to solve the problems and put us on a good financial track for the future, but here we are just a year later and and it's not. In fact, it looks like we were discussing significant rate increases. I think they're I think that the uh, commissioners of the water committee or whatever did not actually recommend an increase, but it seems apparent to me that one will be necessary at some point in the future. Can we get a little more information from the committee? What's going on here? Well, that, that's apples and oranges to me, um, trustee model. Uh, all we're doing right now is voting on um, receiving and filing those uh, minute meetings, the minutes of those meetings. Um, if you want to, and if there, the board wishes to discuss in the future, uh, issues regarding the water committee and water rates in the village, of course, that is something that would be appropriate for the board to address. So right now, the only thing to be uh, voted on is receipt and filing of those two uh, minutes of, meet of meeting. Okay, Mayor, well, this is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, aren't the minutes, uh, is there gonna be additional notification of the board or is this supposed to be our notification of what went on at the meeting? Because if I hadn't asked, would we have been told about it or will we be told more about this? Well, obviously there were minutes, obviously you read them, obviously you have some questions about them. Uh, it, it's fine to have questions about them. All we want to do is get the minutes filed and approved tonight and then uh, if you want to bring up other issues about the water rates and water committee meetings, uh, that it would be appropriate at a later time. So roll, uh, let's, I'm calling the question. Roll call, please. Trustee Snyder. Yes. Trustee Schiappa. Yes. Trustee Francis. Yes. Trustee Model. Yes. Trustee Matal. I'll refrain from voting. I was absent at both those meetings. Uh, these Trustee are the Cabeza. minutes of the uh, Water Commission. Th that's uh, Water Committee, um, Anita. Just just for clarification, that's Water Committee. You can okay. Go. Okay. All right. Then yes. Thank you, Trustee Paveza. Yes. Six zero. Six zero. The motion passes. Okay. That takes us to uh, the reason we call this meeting tonight, um, which is. Uh, seven resolutions a adoption of a resolution excluding emergency responders of the village of Burr Ridge from certain provisions of the Families First Coronavirus Response Act. Doug, and then I'd like to hear from the chief. Yes, I will defer to Chief Madden. Chief, let me move the microphone a little further so everybody can hear. If you cannot hear the chief, please let me know. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the Family First Coronavirus Response Act was signed into law by President Trump on March 18. The act temporarily expands the medical Family Medical Leave Act of 1993 and provides for partially paid leave to employees for certain qualifying leave needed in relation to COVID-19. The act also creates the Emergency Paid Sick Leave Act that requires employers to provide 80 hours of paid sick leave due to the need for leave related to COVID-19. The act is temporary and is valid from April 2nd and expires on December 31st, 2020. There's two parts to the act. The first part expands the Family Medical Leave Act to require employers to provide employees 12 weeks of family medical leave to care for the employee's minor child if the child's school or paid child care provider is closed due to COVID, the COVID-19 health emergency. The second part of the act requires employers to provide employees with 80 hours of sick leave for six conditions, one being minor, chi minor child care again, and the other five conditions are related to illness or quarantine of the employee or care for an individual ill or in quarantine due to COVID-19. The act allows employers of healthcare providers and emergency responders to exclude such employees from application of the public health emergency leave, which is the FMLA expansion and the emergency paid sick leave. In order for the village of Burridge to continue to provide essential law enforcement services, it is my recommendation that the board adopts this resolution 
to exclude the police department sworn personnel only the sworn personnel only from the FMA FMLA expansion in the act and only subcategory five of the emergency paid sick leave that deals with minor child care. Thank you. Thank you. Um, OK, so let's get, first of all, um, any questions from any of the trustees? This is Trustee Schiappa. So we're doing this so that we can maintain a level of consistency regarding police protection for our residents in Burridge. Yes, that is correct. Uh, Mayor, it's Mike Durkin. I need to point out that um, the uh, Department of Labor on Saturday issued um, Definition. Uh, guidelines, not regulations yet. They're supposed to issue those by April 1st. And by the way, they they also issued a guideline that, it, that um, accelerated the effective date from April 2nd to April 1st. So it goes into effect on Wednesday of this week. But in their guidelines regarding emergency responders, they listed public works employees. And under section two of this resolution, we um, excluded um, sworn members of the P Village Police Department and any other employees whom the Secretary of Labor excludes from the definition of eligible employee. So that would also include public works employees. Um, there was some concern expressed last week whether the village could exclude um, public works employees from those um, child care uh, restrictions. Those uh, provisions allow for up to 12 weeks of leave, including the last 10 at two thirds pay solely for the basis of caring for um, a child whose school has been ordered closed because of COVID-19 or their uh, caretaker is unavailable. So with this um, resolution, you are excluding both um, sworn members of the police department and it would also operate to exclude um, public works employees from those expanded FMLA benefits and the sick leave for um, caring for kids whose school is closed. All other provisions of the Emergency Paid Sick Leave Act, which provide an additional two weeks of sick leave um, to employees for uh, either having conditions uh, from exposure to COVID-19, uh, being under doctor's care, caring for a family member who has that, or being subject to a quarantine order um, would remain. So that would, uh, those sick leave benefits would be available to both sworn police officers and public works employees. The only thing you are excluding would be the leave um, for caring for a, a son or daughter of the employee whose school is closed on account of COVID-19. Okay, so um, we have two categories, public works, which is required now by federal, if, if we do this by the federal statute, and our uh, police um, specifically um, for uh, this uh, COVID-19 emergency. So uh, it is the opinion of Chief Madden that this is necessary to maintain the high level of safety of our residents during this crisis. Correct. Okay. Um, uh, Trustee Schiappa, is your question answered? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay. Do any other trustees have any other questions? Okay. Uh, do we have any public comment? Has anybody tried to call in or indicated? Uh, no one has called in at this time, but if someone in the public uh, wants to call in on this topic only, uh, now's the time. Again, it's on this topic only. It's a short meeting. If anybody wants to call in for anything, just have them call in. 
Mayor, quick question. With regards yes. to Dave and the uh, uh, Public Works, is Dave on board with this also? Um, you know, he happens to be out here in the hall. Uh, uh, well, he's keeping proper social distancing. Hello? Dave, can you get reasonably yeah, right there? Um, trustee Snyder, the trustees have a question. Uh, we were updated to what occurred over the weekend, which now this uh, Family Medical uh, Leave Act uh, is now going to apply to public works people. And uh, I get the sense that the board wants to do this, of course, to maintain the public safety uh, from a police perspective, but also from a public works perspective. And uh, the trustees want to know that you're in support of it. Yeah. Okay. So did you hear? Did you hear Dave? He's in support. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dave. Um, so that that's that. Any other? Any? Did we get public? We got a call. Uh, actually, it was a call. Uh, they wanted to speak during public comment, and they're going to call back in just a few minutes. Okay. So we, I think we've waited long enough. There's been no other public comment. Um, all the trustees' questions have been answered. So roll call, please. We have to have a motion. We don't have a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I get a motion to adopt uh, to adopt? A resolution excluding emergency responders of the village of Burr Ridge from certain provisions of the family's first coronavirus response act. So moved. So moved. All right, who moved? We've got oh. Joe Schneider. I yes. think. Who seconded? Al Paveza. Paveza, Trustee Paveza seconded. Okay, roll call, please. Trustee Schneider. Yes. Trustee Paveza. Yes. Trustee Schiappa. Yes. Trustee Francis. Yes. Trustee Motto. Yes. Trustee Mattal. Yes. Six zero. Six zero, the motion passes. Thank you. That takes us to item nine, public comment. Is there any public comment? You can call in. Uh, do we, did we put the number up? Everybody knows. OK, the number's up there. So please call in if you want to have, uh, and we'll wait for you to call. If anybody wants public comment, now's the time to call. We did get one call, right? He's calling back. I have a comment, please. OK. About, uh, we, about, about the call-in procedure? Sure. Uh, this is Trustee Franzese. I'm going to let you know that there's about a 10 or 12 second delay between what I'm hearing on the phone and what I'm seeing on the video. So. If folks are watching it live on the on the video, you have to allow enough time for them to get. So you said about a 12 second delay. Yes. OK. Uh, we we have. OK. <clears throat> we have a caller. Yes. On speakerphone. OK, whoever's called in, please identify yourself and tell us if you live in the village or not. Yeah. Uh, Mayor Grasso, it's uh, Richard Morton, a oh. resident of Burr Ridge since 1989. Hello, Rich. Yeah, hi, Mayor. I wanted to thank you for making a difference uh, during what is the most trying time of my life. And that includes living through Vietnam, race riots, assassinations, Watergate, bombings, airplane hijackings, terrorists, and even 9-11. The village staff overseen by Doug Pollock and Evan Walters are very talented. And I find all aspects of the village from the police department led by Chief Madden, public works led by David Pressing, and finance department led by Jerry Sapp to be superlative. I'm grateful we have this team of talented professionals working on my behalf. Villages need money to operate and it's no secret that the Illinois pension system and debt that the Illinois Constitution, led by decades of buffoonery in Springfield, have caused a fiscal crisis. The village responding to this slaughter while maintaining current staffing and services proposed adopting home rule. Sadly, that effort failed. And I believe it failed in part because of trustee models actions. 
He offered many claims of homeroom failures, even at one time citing $1,000 to remove a tree at his family's business, the Lions, a home rule community. What he didn't provide, aside from the lip flapping, was little, if any, proof that any of these claims were true. When I looked into home rule history in Illinois, I found the opposite of trustee models claims. Bob Reed, the director of programming at the Better Government Association said, home rule gives communities more control. And in 2016, out of 1,297 municipalities in Illinois, 211 currently operate under home rule. In an excerpt from the Journal of Regional Analysis and Policy, James Banovitz wrote, one is the, and he wrote in, in argument for or against reasons for home rule, one is the empirical research undertaken by Banovitz and Arbitron who failed to find evidence that home rule communities increased property taxes at a rate faster than non-home rule communities. And Dyer and McGuire, who found that non-home rule communities were raising property tax rates faster than home rule communities. The exact opposite of what trustee model had argued. Both findings undercut the central premise of the opposition to Illinois home rule system that home rule's unlimited property taxing powers will lead to higher increases in property tax levies. He goes on and says the second strongest source of evidence comes from Illinois voters. The voters who were asked if they wish to continue a home rule system already in use have been strong in their support for home rule. In other words, voters who have had home rule want to retain it. They do not feel victimized by unwarranted use of home rule taxing powers. If this village board at their own political jeopardy levied a 100% property tax increase, that would increase my total tax bill by only $75.64. In my view, that's a small price to keep the talented and highly efficient village staff and police department functioning at their high level and for my benefit. What can I do? Unlike trustee model, I don't need to resort to hyperbole, bullying, fear mongering. Instead, I'm demonstrating my support of Burr Ridge by making a cash donation. The first one is in the mail, as I can afford. Concerning the depth of the COVID-19 crisis we face, I ask that you use it to further the goals of Burr Ridge, keeping village staff intact police department fully staffed, village services operating, and our roads well maintained. So all in the community can stay safe, protected, and enjoy the quality of life that attracted most of us to Burr Ridge in the first place. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for giving me this opportunity. You're welcome, Rich. Do we have any other public comments? <clears throat> Any other public comment? Let's wait. And I said there's about 12 second lapse. Plus, I think you got to disconnect before someone can reconnect. So, yes, disconnect. We have we've disconnected. Is there any other public comment? Please call in now. Okay, I think we've waited a sufficient amount of time. I don't think there's any further public comment. That will take us to 10 reports and communications from village officials. Uh, do any of the trustees wish to um, make a report or a communication? Yes, this is trustee model. Go ahead. Uh, regarding the earlier discussion about the minutes and the auditing, um, 
At the moment of 57.31 on the prior meeting's minutes, I'll let you hear Doug for yourself, because I, I guess in his exemplary job description, must include deceit and lying. Tax, sales tax. They're a little bit different, but we can see if they're extremely divergent. We would do something, and we have... Anybody hear anything? ...contacted the Department of Revenue that we're concerned that this, whether this business is paying its property. I'm sorry, trustee model, it's really almost impossible to hear. Why don't we take this up? Why don't you well, bring 5731 up? is the time marker on the minute where Doug talks about that there's a restaurant that's that he sub submitted information to Illinois Department of Revenue on two occasions, and one of them he's heard something back. And in fact, on another one, something is still ongoing. So uh, this is what I was referring to when Doug reported the Illinois Department of Revenue. So I, I can't believe how you reported on it. You remembered it and you knew all about it at the last meeting, Doug, but now you can't remember it again. Because this will be the second time that you've lied to me about the same time when I asked you about audits at restaurants and sales tax information. You keep obscuring and lying, Doug. So that's probably some of the exemplary work that Mr. Morton referred to when he praises you. I think your comments are out of line. You've already been censured once for insulting staff. Um, oh, I'm not insulting staff. staff. I'm holding them accountable, and I don't appreciate to be lied to and, and have the village obscured and have information uh, deceived to the town to myself. I think that's Im Im improper, and if you want to censure me again for it, go ahead and do it, but I don't like to be lied to by our staff. Uh, I think you're overreacting, and I think you're jumping to conclusions, but that's just my... I think you're a mobster. Oh, boy. Can you call that member to order, Mayor? Yeah. Um, any, and do, do we have any intelligent comments from any, any of the trustees? This is Trustee Schiappa. I just want to send a message to the residents of this village to... To stay safe, this is a good time to spend with your family and your loved ones, especially if you're healthy, and know that we will get through this. We've got great leadership and great staff in this village, and I've got complete confidence in, in our leadership here that we will get through this. It will take some time, but use this time to be grateful for what you have and and that's and those those are my comments thank you, thank you. Um, this, this is Anita Mittal um, I just want to say that yes we are all going through a difficult time but I concur with trustee Scappa spend time with your families um, enjoy the time you have um, also I have to say you know sometimes God gives us problems, but it's how we deal with them. And I think the village of Burr Ridge, the staff, um, the mayor, everyone's doing a very good job of handling it in a very dignified way. Um, I really like the daily bulletins because they are very reassuring. Um, people feel involved and uh, a part of the village. I enjoy reading them and um, finding out about what's happening in the village. So I want to say keep up the good work um, to the staff and uh, the village. Um, uh, uh, so this is very, um, I mean, difficult, but I think we're handling it in a very dignified way. Thank you. Anyone else? This is Trustee Francis. I want to thank uh, staff and the, and the leadership of the village, also the police and our public works people for all the great work that they're doing in these t troubled times. These are difficult times. We will get through them and we will all be stronger as a result, uh, I want to ask the residents to please continue to support the restaurants. Uh, go to the village website, and there is a listing of, the, of all the restaurants in the village and what services they are currently offering, carry out, delivery, uh, curbside pickup, etc. So please continue to patronize our great restaurants and also the businesses that are allowed to remain open, such as Brookhaven and, and the cleaners uh, and, 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 and so forth. So. And thank you to the residents for all of their support, all of the kind words that they've passed along uh, during this during these troubled times. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Yeah, go ahead, Doug. Just real quick, I, I think that this uh, audiovisual 
uh, went fairly well tonight. We'll see you the recording. It will be rebroadcast uh, during the week on our YouTube station. Through our, through our uh, can you hear? Can you hear Doug? Can you hear me? Yes. OK, I, I wanted to uh, thank Orbis IT information technology, our, our IT consultant um, for, uh, for uh, taking the time to assist us and really doing a lot of work to make uh, not only this meeting, but our day to day work like we've got people working at home and uh, between our internal staff uh, in finance department, Jerry Sapp and Amy Nelson and others uh, and our consultant Brad Miller of Orbis. Uh, we've been able to do a lot of work and keep things going uh, remotely uh, for those who, who, who are working remotely, but even internally as well. So I just wanted to give that uh, credit to, uh, to Orbis and to our finance department for all they've done in that regard. All right, and then just finally, I'll just wrap up. Um, I did want the public to know that our village hall, our police department, public works buildings are regularly cleaned throughout each day to prevent the spread of COVID-19. A public works employee sanitizes the door handles and faucets and handles uh, each midday and our janitorial service cleans these again and sanitizes the countertops and tabletops each night. Bullseye Cleaning Services of Burr Ridge provides additional deep cleanings upon request, which we utilized after the March primary voting and which we will uh, continue to use after tonight's board meeting. Um, the village also wishes to thank the many businesses that supply our police and public works departments with sanitizer, including Wholesale Point Inc. in Burr Ridge, Walgreens in Willowbrook at the corner of Plainfield and Madison, and Walgreens in Westchester. I also want to uh, give a special thanks to Microsonic Solutions of Burr Ridge for the aerosol and equipment that is keeping our police and public works vehicles germ free. Uh, I want to thank um, the village staff. This has not been easy for anyone. Um, Doug, uh, Evan, uh, myself and Guy uh, speak uh, both at 9 a.m. in the morning and at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, we uh, we invite the chief uh, when he has to, things to um, tell us about uh, in terms of compliance with the governor's stay at home order. Uh, and I'm glad to say that uh, generally uh, we're getting great cooperation from the residents. I'm receiving daily uh, emails and texts from residents who are thankful for the, the work that the um, police department is doing, public works is doing, the staff is doing all through the village. Um, it is my goal as the mayor of this village to keep people positive uh, that this is something that we will of course defeat and it's just going to take time, it's going to take diligence and it's going to take vigilance to do the right things. Um, so with that, I'd uh, entertain a motion to adjourn the special meeting uh, and we plan to have a meeting on April 13th at 7 p.m. Can I get a motion? So, so, so moved, Trustee Schiappa. Second, Trustee Snyder. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're adjourned, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.